It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! That was enough. a weak ass push. She was like, it's a fucking machine. All right, so we're going back to, uh, I don't know, I forgot his name. Uh, his name should pop up pretty soon. Marcus. All right, pause the package. All right, where do we go, Marcus? Uh, we can open a birdcage? Are you out of your mind? Oh, they're android birds. What? That is weird. Uh, wake Carl upstairs. All right, come on, Carl. Carl is like a funny name to me. Carl. 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 All right, there's like beers fucking each other. That's what it looks like. Draw curtains. So this person's asleep. Uh. What's up, big dog? Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Good morning. Carl. It's 10 a.m. It's 10 a.m. Weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Uh, that's what I, I did go to pick me up. Me and Carl the think alike, man. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Damn. So I gotta gotta get his medicines. Me your arm, please, Carl. No, Carl. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Hate needles. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Damn. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? You're just gonna piss them off. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Uh. Come on, man. Help me help you, man. Oh, don't drop him now. Don't drop him now. Don't drop him now. Don't drop him now. I was running out of, I was running out of mouse uh pad uh all room. Do 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 do. Ew. Come on. I had to make a whole fucking detour of my mouse. Mm. Oh, that's Any pretty badass. Leo? Damn, that shit going fast as fuck. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. You know what I like? I like bacon and eggs as well. All right, now. What do you got there? He got... Of course he got a smiley face. Bro, this is gonna be easy, man. I'm already used to these controls. I'm about to say, I know you're not scared, bro. Just walk in there. All right, go ahead and serve that to him. Is that pears? Thank you, Marcus. I would have been pissed. Television. I was like, that's it. Uh oh, Russia done gonna fuck us up, man. Those look like pears. Why don't you I swear. Find something to do while I finish my breakfast. Yeah, sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. All right. Uh, 
perfect, sir. What the fuck do I do? Find something to do? That does not help. All right, so he's uh play the piano. Okay, I'll play the piano. I really do want to learn how to play the piano, though. Bro, sit down. Oh fuck. Uh. Let's go with one. I don't know what that means. Oh, they about to make me play this shit? Yep, I'm about to play this shit. What if I go faster? Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Man, why you get so dark? And make for your it? choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Damn, just like that? She. Get my ass up, man. Let's go to the studio. You would have think he could afford an Android. He couldn't afford like the little automated one. Automated uh wheelchairs. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, bro. He scared the fuck out of me. Damn, what the fuck? He got a crane moving his ass like that. Wait for Carl's instructions. I gotta clean the studio. When he says studio, I thought he meant like a music studio. This is not what I had in mind. Bro, I'm I'm really I'm really quick with this shit. All right, and it just got quiet. All right, what was this wood? All oh, the paper. That wouldn't make sense if it was wood at all. We got loud ass dogs barking in the background. All right, I, I clean I clean the studio, man. What else? What else you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, bro, that's what I thought. Well, I used to. I used to like customize my shoes, but I didn't really go that far because I got lazy afterwards. I painted one good shoe and so, I didn't really paint the other one. What's your verdict, Marcus? Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, yep. You would be a much better judge than I would. I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm looking at. The truth at. is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just I should have just old lied man to him. clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Oh, yeah, I was Give it challenged. a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I painting what? Anything you want. Man, Carl, you better Give stop you better stop playing with me, man. I'm a <laughs> I'm a better musician than you. I'm about to be a better artist than you. Come on now. Come on, Marcus. Let's stop. Let's stop running. Let's really show what we can do. We're going to become the next Bob Ross. Come on now. Find a subject to paint. Okay. Um, let's let's do let's do more. Let's do Carl's painting and let's let's see how let's, let's show how it's really done. Yeah, you're not going to tell me I'm actually going to. Uh huh. Uh, oh, I that see is a it. Perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting and improving on it. My bad. My Showing bad. That's something you see. My bad. My bad. That's on me. Let me redo it. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on. Go. Try it. Grab that canvas. My bad. My bad. Let me, let me redo this. My bad, Marcus. I, I made you look bad. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You want me to do what? Trust me. He wants me to do what? Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. All right, let's close our eyes. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. <gasps> makes and me let feel your scared. hair drift across the canvas. 
All right, Marcus. No pressure, man. Our reputation is on the line. Uh, humanity. No, identity. And de identity is the best thing. Uh, uh, damn. Despair? Let's, let's do this despair. The prisoner is a little too, a little too much. All right, come on. Close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes, brother. Let me tell you something about painting, brother. I just pick up the brush and I let the brush guide me, brother. Whoa, that is oh deep. Oh my God. That is deep. Is that supposed to be a son? Hey, Dad. Leo. Yup, I knew it. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. Oh, shit. It's been a while, right? Oh, shit. You all right? Something's up, Carl. He's tweaking. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. I fucking knew it. I knew okay. it. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. Yeah. What? Why? You know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. That was enough. a weak ass push. She's like, it's a fucking machine. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. Fucking just, like push me against You've the wall. You've never loved anyone. Man. You never loved me, Dad. All right, I just realized what I said. Not like that though. Don't push me to the wall like you that. You never loved me. Like. But, oh wow, that was deep. I meant like push me, like shove with purpose. Don't just like fucking. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right, so what do we? Damn, there's not a lot to be uh, explored, but to ask for money, we should have locked the doors. That's what. That's what went. That's what went wrong. November fifth, two thousand thirty-eight, eleven twenty-one p.m. All right, we got fucking Two Face in the fucking building, man. Why is he flipping his quarters like that? No androids allowed. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Fine, Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, that's the one. I right, say this. Introduce myself. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Oh, fifth you bar? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. I just realized my camera was frozen. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna threaten him. I'm not gonna threaten him. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Oh, reason. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Uh, uh, I'll buy him another. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. I, I, it's funny because I just told him to stop the drink. That gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. And then I, I offered him to get another drink. That's crazy. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? You wait here. I won't be long. Uh, uh, just 
No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop. I don't even know what that means to be you honest. Make it to the rest of the night in one piece. All right, he did tell me to wait in the car, so I'm gonna wait in the car. Yeah, fuck that. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That when he found the body. Uh-oh. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has the record for right. theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, they he got some Batman kind of music going on. He's tasting it? Oh, he's a psychopath. No fingerprints. Android. He's been there for a good three weeks. Damn, the what? The coroner gets here. There's a kitchen a knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about it? Zan. Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Briefing concluded. I barely got barely got enough evidence. Hold on. Got another dry blood, bro. Walk. Walk straight. Okay, another dry blood. Okay, Carlos again. Signs of struggle. You got all that from a trip chair? Damn, yo, Carlos got fucked up, man. I ain't gonna lie. Gossip week, Android sex officially better. Whoa, that is insane. Not more blood? Murder weapon taken. The letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No cue. Baseball bat. Okay, Carlos seems like he was trying to defend himself. Yep. Is that what we, that's all we got? Oh, it looked like, whoa. It, no, it looked like, it looked like the, 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 the robot was defending himself. Dang. Android, I meant Android. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Nice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. I was like, fuck, open the door already. Okay, shoe print. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Dang. Okay, so the ro android didn't escape. Oh, the oh the body. That said, I am alive. Yo, that body looks real. Oh, this is Carlos. Okay, seems like the android hit him. The fucking mouth. 
Internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds? God damn, 28 stab wounds. That is insane. That is overkill. Okay, the victim fell. Victim was stabbed. Oh. Okay, they came from the kitchen. Oh, damn. That android was not filling in, man. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Regular letters. Yeah, we only have eight evidence. Before we can conclude this ep this this uh case. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Victim used drugs. Drugs. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Damn, oh, I didn't yeah. get all of it. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the in the in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. With uh, with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. I'm I'm I, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. And uh, uh, the android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay. Then what happened? The victim fled to uh the living. Room. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with uh with the knife. Okay, your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Nice. Damn, it scared the shit out of me. There's no way he just stopped there. A ladder was used. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All I had to do was look up, man. Find something to climb. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. Come on now. Oh yeah. Oh, that is fucking scary, bro. Get up. I know you still. I know you still got that gun on you, bro. This 
This is so weird. Why does he have that big ass weird thing there? Statue. This is so Oh, you a real one, bro. He is the realest illest. Slowly 